Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be giving you a routing guide for the brand new Nexus 7. This is the 2013 model. It is not the 2012 model, so make sure you have the correct model. Uh, this device I've actually been using for less than five minutes, and I'm going to be routing pretty much right out the box. So you need to know a few things. First off, back up your data. I am not responsible for a brick device. I'm not responsible for data loss. That is your own responsibility, and you would be safe to assume that any anything can happen. Second, with that warning, it must be known that you can possibly brick your device. So as I said, I'm not going to be responsible for this. In addition to that, this does in fact void your warranty. I will also not be showing you how to install a custom ROM off uh, the internet or anything. It's pretty easy to do once you have everything rooted. Uh, the thing is, the reason why I'm not doing it is because I'm actually going to be staying on stock Android with a root. Believe it or not, I do actually like stock Android. I just like having super user capabilities. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to root this thing. Alright, so when you turn on your Nexus 7, you're going to be greeted with this screen, of course, if you haven't changed anything. What you want to do, I've already enabled it, but I'm going to show you how to enable this. We need to unlock your bootloader, and in order to do that, we first need to enable developer settings. So what you want to do is go ahead, go over here, go over to your settings, come all the way down here to about tablet, and I, this sounds like I'm trolling, but I'm really not. I've already done this, so it's enabled, but over here on build model, you have to spam this seven times. Now see right down here it says no need you are already a developer that's because I've done it but you hit that seven times once you hit it seven times if you haven't done it like me it will say congratulations you're a developer so you can go back you can go to developer options and over here I turned it off but you want to go ahead turn it on hit OK enable USB debugging hit OK and now what you want to do is go ahead and turn off your tablet so we're going to go ahead and turn off from here. Now the next thing you want to do once it's completely off is go over to the side and get into its bootloader mode. In order to do this, you have to press the volume down, hold down the volume down button, and then hold the power button until the device itself comes on. And once you're greeted at a screen like this, you are now in bootloader mode. So as you can see, it says lock state locked. We want to unlock that. So you're now in fast boot mode. What you want to do is go over to the computer you're going to be performing this route on and go ahead, plug it in like so. And now we're going to go ahead and continue over to our computer. All right, so now that you're at your computer and you have your tablet hooked up to your computer in bootloader mode, make sure it's in that mode. You're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need at least Fastboot. I'm going to give you a link to download minimal ADB and Fastboot. Highly recommend that if you don't want to download the whole Android SDK. I know I definitely didn't want to. You're going to need a custom recovery, so you're going to need either TeamWin or Clockwork Mod. I prefer TeamWin out of the two. And finally, you're going to need Super SU. All of the download links for these will be down below. But first off, we're unlocking our bootloader. What you need to do is go over to where you have Fastboot, uh, hold down the Shift key, right click and hit open command window here and this is all you're going to do you're going to hit fast boot oem unlock now you want to come over to your tablet right here which i'm going to show just look in the corner uh this is what you're going to want to do you can hit either no or yes just go ahead and use the volume up key right here and then hit the power button and as you can see you shouldn't be able to do anything now, but should be unlocked. Now there we go. So everything has been erased as you can see. Uh, that is the only thing that happens when you do this. But aside from that, you should be good to go. And if you look in the corner right here, it says lock state unlocked. So there we go. That is all we needed to do. Now what you want to do is go ahead and do fast boot reboot. And we're just going to go ahead and boot into our actual system because if you haven't already done so, and as you can see right here, there's now a padlock, a unlocked padlock that represents that you have an unlocked bootloader. You should be able to continue with this route. Now what we need to do is copy over our super SU zip to our device and you should be good to go. Okay, so now that you're back on your computer and you have everything good to go, go ahead and go over to where you have your files downloaded. We wanna go ahead and take this super user SU 
copy that and we're going to just go ahead and paste it into our internal storage. Now, as you can see, it's there. It's a little over a megabyte. That's all we need to put onto the tablet. Now, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to take this recovery and we're going to flash over a custom recovery. So what you want to do is just copy this, paste it into your fast boot folder. And just to make this easier, I'm going to rename this to recovery. So it will be a lot easier to type out. Now, what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to go ahead and take my tablet and turn it off. And we're going to go back into bootloader mode again. So as I said, you want to just power this off and then do the same thing. We're on the side of the tablet. You just hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time until it goes into your bootloader mode. Now we're over in bootloader mode and this is what you want to do. You want to come back over to where you have your CMD profile right here. And uh, since you have everything open, since you have it connected, you should be good to go. But you want to just hit fast boot flash recovery recovery.image or whatever your file is called and hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's flashed over your recovery and this is what you want to do now. We're going to go ahead, come over to our tablet, select. What I like to do is select power off. So I power it off completely and then go ahead, boot back into your bootloader. Now we go into recovery mode. And from here on out, we don't need our computer anymore. Once it boots up into recovery mode, we just need the tablet itself and you'll be good to go. All right, so over here, as you can see, we've unlocked our bootloader. We flashed over the recovery. The final step right here to rooting your tablet is now going to be installing Super User. So you wanna hit install. You wanna pick your zip. So this Super SU file, swipe to confirm flash. And now what you wanna do is wipe cache slash Dalvik hit back and hit reboot system. And once your tablet reboots, you should have a rooted brand new Nexus 7. Unless you're watching this a year later or something where it won't be as new, but there you go. In less than 10 minutes, you've rooted your tablet. All right, now right here, we have our tablets booted up. We wanna go ahead, unlock it, come over to our apps and look for Super SU. Go ahead, open that up. And let's say no thanks to that so far. But if this opens up and everything, congratulations, you should be good to go. What you can do to test this out is you can go ahead, go to your Play Store and download a rootable app, something like Attaway or Titanium Backup, anything like that. But if it works, congratulations, you now have a rooted Nexus 7. So again, this is for the 2013 model right there as I'm showing you all. And that's about it. Anyways, I hope I helped you all out. Now you should be rooted. You should be the super user of your brand new device. And yeah, that's about it. So enjoy your new Nexus 7. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching.